Oh gee, thanks. A present? For me? My birthday was last month, but that's okay. I'm used to things I do being forgotten. So I won't hold a grudge. For long. Back in the 50s, I fought in the Korean War. The Wahut War? Yeah, exactly. History remembers World War II from a decade earlier, of course. And we recall the Vietnam War of the following decade because it's always easy to dwell on one's mistakes. <clears throat> but the Korean War waged between 1950 and 1953, we call the Forgotten War. Tough to imagine anyone could forget an entire war. Did someone say forget? I mean, we put up sticky notes and everything. Most likely the reason the Korean War has vanished so much into oblivion is that both its beginning and ending are a little foggy. Hey, watch where you're going. Many people don't believe it was necessary for us to have ever gotten involved over there. What's next, Vietnam? that it was just a knee-jerk reaction to Cold War hysteria. Hey, who you calling a jerk? Oh, not you. Don't be so sensitive. The war was fought along the 38th parallel. You can find it on a globe, but it's not like there was an actual line drawn in the sand where the battles were fought. Although that certainly would have made it easier to see who was on your side and uh, who wasn't. He's on the wrong side! Get him! That line divides North and South Korea. That's us! It's sort of Korea's Mason-Dixon line, but without all the roadside fruit stands. The Soviet Union was backing North Korea and providing them with oodles of weaponry. Fresh weapons, come and get it. We couldn't let the Reds win, so we fought in support of South Korea, helping to defend them against the northern aggressor. Oh man, I could hardly wait for my Botox sesh. With all the deep-seated hostility, everyone was afraid that the Korean War would trigger World War III. We'd already had enough major world wars to last us a while, thank you very much. Fortunately, North and South Korea signed armistice agreements, in which they agreed to at least pause their fighting, even if they both felt they still had some unfinished business. Too bad Chuck Norris wasn't a soldier around then to write a decisive finish to things. Unfortunately, nothing was really resolved. To this day, there's a ceasefire between North and South Korea, even though they're technically still at war. On guard. Kind of like when you and your brother declare a ceasefire in the back seat on the way to grandma's house, even while you're both desperately trying to give the other an atomic wedgie. We'll say this for the war, though. The ceasefire between the two sides may have calmed everybody down. Told you I could eat more s'mores than you. I don't feel so good. The fear of the global war diminished somewhat. And people thought, hey, maybe communists aren't trying to take over the world. Which helps some of us sleep at night. That whole area is still in limbo though. There remains a demilitarized zone around the 38th parallel. And the country is still divided into North and South Korea. And they both forgot my birthday. So, I guess the more things change, the more they stay the same. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Mom! 
we take debit, credit, cash or gold. Preferably gold. We like gold.